Greetings, peace, love, and wellness, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. I am Lua, and today is our Movement Monday. And on this channel on Mondays, we move our body mindfully with the breath. So if you're ready, grab your mat and let's get started. We'll first start off by allowing ourselves to get grounded and present in our body with some deep clearing breaths. We'll take an inhale deeply through our nostrils and exhaling through the mouth. When you're ready, inhale. Exhale. Again, another deep inhale. Exhale. With each breath, allow yourself to get looser and looser, releasing any clench, clenching, holding. Just release any tension you feel inside the body. Oh. Try, try to pull the breath up through the belly. Exhale. Now we'll take a minute to gently rock from side to side. Gently loosen up the shoulders and the spine, just gently waking it up. Just intentionally breathe with emotions. Now let's see if we can take this movement into circles. See if we can go around. Exhaling with the rows. Now let's go the opposite direction. Now let's bring ourselves back to center. Let's release this left hand to the mat. Then we'll inhale, expanding this right hand up and across, taking a deep stretch on that right side. Then exhale, releasing that right hand down to the mat and extending that left hand up and across the same way. And we'll do that a couple times. Just again, tap it into our body, loosening up our shoulders. And again, breathing in and out with each movement. And let's release that hand down. Then we'll inhale, reach our hands up. Stretching and reaching through the fingertips. Then we'll exhale, bringing that right hand behind us and bringing that left hand to that right knee. And we'll gently turn our gaze towards that right side or towards that right shoulder, whatever is most comfortable for you. Again, we're lengthening the spine, taking a deep stretch. Then we'll inhale up, reaching again, high up through the fingertips, stretching, elongating the spine, 
shoulders back, chest lifted. Then exhale, releasing that left hand behind us, wrapping that right hand around that left knee as we gaze towards the left side or that left shoulder. Giving a deep twist in the lower spine, engaging in the shoulders. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up one more time. Exhale, twist. Now we're gonna come on to all four. We're gonna continue to warm up the spine. Hands about shoulder distance apart, knees about hip distance apart in the tabletop position. And we're gonna continue to warm up the spine with some cat-cow poses. Inhale up. Exhale, push the mat away, arching up the spine, navel to the spine. Again, inhale up, creating a dip in our spine, shoulders back, head forward. Exhale, rounding out the back, navel to the spine, head towards the mat. And again, feel free to go at your own pace, just rolling. Feel free to go at your own pace. We're just warming up the spine. Our next exhale, let's come back into that tabletop position. Then we'll come down onto our forearms. Then we're going to untuck our toes and lift the hips up into the air into a dolphin pose. Feel free to be on your tippy toes here. We want to flat back, deep stretch in our hamstrings. Breathing here. And if you want to, feel free to walk your legs out, bend one knee, straighten the other. And on our next inhale, we're going to see if we can come on to the palms into a full downward dog, turn ourselves into an upside down V. Flat back, feet planted to the mat. And again, feel free to be on your tippy toes if you cannot bring your feet completely flat. But we just want to have our back flat. Releasing the head, engaging the hands and the feet, firmly and pressing against the mat. We'll stay here for five breaths. Then next inhale, we're gonna walk our hands back towards our feet for a forward fold, releasing the hands flat to the mat or your tip, fingertips to the mat, whatever's comfortable for you. Just again, continue to release the head and shoulders and neck. And if you want to fold your arms here, 
or ragdoll position. Still releasing your head. Just let yourself hang heavy. And if you want to put some little movement here, feel free to rock to left to right, side to side. Just a gentle rocking. Keeping a soft bend in the knees. We don't want to not lock, um, lock our knees. Then we'll release our hands back to the mat. And then we'll slowly roll ourselves up, vertebrae by vertebrae, till we reach the top. And we'll roll the shoulders back. Just giving our shoulders a little massage as we roll them back. Then release the rolling of the shoulders. Bringing our feet about hip distance apart into mountain pose, shoulders back, chest lifted. Then we're going to inhale, reach our arms up high into the sky, stretching in the fingertips again. And then exhale, releasing our hands down. We're going to come sideways to the mat. We're going to take this right leg and cross it across the left leg, keeping the hips pointed forward. We're going to inhale, reach up high again. This time we're going to interlace our fingertips and then point the fingers out for a deep back stretch. And exhale, releasing our hands. Coming back to center, uncrossing our legs. Then we'll get the opposite side, taking this left leg, cross it across that right, keeping the hips pivot forward. We'll inhale, reach up high, interlacing the fingertips, pushing the palms out as we stretch back. Then we'll exhale, release that, coming back to center. Then we'll go ahead and spread our legs a little bit wider. Then we're going to inhale, reach up. And exhale. As we come down, we're going to bend at the elbow as well as we're going to bend at our knees and come into a sumo squat or plie squat, goddess squat, opening the chest. Feet pointed out, breathing here, engaging into our thighs. If you want to create some movement by bouncing a little bit, feel free to go ahead and do that too. And when you're ready, we'll inhale, lift up, releasing our hands, bringing our legs back together. Walking that out a little bit. We're going to do that one more time. We're going to spread our knees a little bit wider. We'll inhale up. Exhale, bend at the elbows and slowly begin to squat yourself down. Opening up the chest. Again, if you want to create some movement here, just gently going up and down. Engage in the thighs. Then exhale, come up, releasing the hands, bringing our legs together again. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, go ahead and draw down, bending the knees. Opening ourselves up. And this time, if you want to go a little deeper and step on the tippy toes as you go down more, feel free to be there. And again, if you want to do a little bouncing, wherever you're at. 
And when you're ready, exhale, release. Bringing all those hips together. This time we're gonna spread our legs a little bit wider, pointing that right leg towards the front of the mat, keeping that left leg slanted sideways. We're gonna take our hands and expand them side to side, fingertips pointing towards each direction of the mat. Then we're gonna shift our upper torso only towards the front of the mat. Then we're gonna hinge from the hip, diving down, bringing our fingertips on that right side down to the mat, expanding that left fingertips up towards the sky in triangle pose. Breathing here. Opening ourselves up. You can even bring your hand all the way down flat to the mat if you're there. Breathing. Then we're going to bring this left hand down to meet that right hand. And as you meet that right hand, pivot on the back foot, pointing that back foot forward. And then we're going to take this right hand and extend up for a rotated triangle or revolved triangle. Breathing. Then we're going to release that right hand down. We're going to come and drop that back left knee. Then we're going to inhale, swooping our arms up. And then we're going to come down and go into a slight back bend. Creating a bend in our knee in the front into this crescent lunge. And if that's too deep for you, feel free to straighten your back. Arms straight into the air. Fingertips spread wide. Or again, you can crescent back into that lunge. Then we're going to exhale, bring our hands down. Come on to the heel on that front right foot for a half splits. Placing our hand flat to the mat and breathe. Or if you want to, you can place your hand on your feet and go ahead and rest your head onto that right leg. Then when you're ready and place your hands back onto the mat, we're going to place that right leg back down flat to the mat. Bring both hands on the inside of that right leg. Untuck that back leg. And we're going to go into a runner's lunge now. Breathing here. And if you want to create some movement, go ahead and rock a little bit here. Opening up the hips more. Then we're going to exhale, release ourselves back down. Coming back into that half split that heel up into the air, hands flat to the mat, or again on that foot, releasing the head to that right leg. And when you're ready, we'll release both hands down, untuck that back leg, and step that right leg, left leg up, and slowly roll ourselves up vertebrae by vertebrae, so we can get that opposite side. We're going to step that right leg back, turn it perpendicular, extend both hands out to the side, point it in both directions. Then we're going to shift that upper torso towards the front of the mat, and then hinge from the hip, folding down into that triangle pose. Again, you can be on the fingertips, one arm up, the right hand up towards the sky, or you can come all the way down flat, left palm, right hand up. Then we're gonna go ahead and bring that right hand down, pivot on that back foot, toe, on our back toes, 
and do that revolve triangle. Then when you're ready, I'm gonna bring that left hand down, bend on that front left knee, drop down on that back right knee. Then we're gonna inhale up, reaching up through the fingertips. Again, if you want to stay here and lunge pose, arms straight into the air, fingertips spread wide, that's great. But if you wanna take it deeper and go back into a crescent lunge, Feel free to go back into that lunge. And when you're ready, exhale. We'll release ourselves back to the front. Coming onto the heel on that left foot, hands flat to the mat, stretching that out into a half split. And again, if that's enough for you, feel free to stay here. Or you can grab onto that left foot and rest your head on that left leg. Then we'll inhale, releasing ourselves back down, releasing that left foot back down, bringing both hands on the inside of that left palm, untuck that back toe, and then we'll go into that. Runner's lunge. And again, if you want to create some movement, feel free to bounce a little bit here. Opening up the hips, tapping into that hamstring. Then when you're ready, we'll drop that back knee and go back into the half split, lifting up on that heel on that left side. Planting both hands down, or again, holding onto your foot and resting onto that left leg. And when you're ready, we'll put that left leg back down, untuck our toe, come back up, step that right leg up, and slowly roll ourselves back up, vertebrae by vertebrae. So we reach the top and roll them shoulders back. We'll do that sequence one more time. When you're ready, we'll step that left leg back, extending our arms side to side. And when you're ready, we'll shift our upper torso towards the front of the mat. And then exhale, releasing our arm down to the mat, left limb extended up into the air, breathing here. Then we'll bring that left hand down, pivot on that back foot, extending that right hand up for a revolved triangle. Then we'll exhale, releasing that right hand down, bending in that right knee, dropping on that left leg. Inhale up into that low lunge. And if this is enough for you, stay there. Or if you want to go ahead and go into that crescent lunge. Then we're ready. Exhale. Releasing our hands to the mat. Coming on to that half split. Right heel into the air. Breathing. Then we'll plant that right foot back down. Bring both hands on the inside of that right leg. Untuck that back leg, coming into that low lunge. Again, creating some movement here. Then when you're ready, we'll drop that back left leg, come back onto the heels on that right side, and rest on that right leg. Then we'll plant that right leg back down. Untuck that back leg and step that left leg up and slowly roll ourselves up vertebrae by vertebrae so we can get the opposite side. When you're ready, we'll step that right leg back. Extend both hands out. Shift the upper torso towards the front of the mat. Exhale, fold forward. Diving down, left hand on the mat. 
Right hand up into the air. Then we'll drop that right hand, pivot on that back leg, extend that left arm into the air for that revolved triangle. And you ready? Drop that left hand down, bend on that left knee, drop that right knee down, and inhale up into that low lunge. And again, if you want to pivot back, feel free to press it on that lunge. Then exhale, releasing that heel, coming onto to that heel on that left knee, bringing both hands down to support you in a half split. Then we're going to put that right foot, the left foot back, planted to the mat, bringing both hands on the inside of that left foot, untucking that back right leg into that runner's lunge. Again, rocking a little bit. See if you create a little bit more space in the rocking. Do you feel any more extra movement in one hip or the other? Breathe. And when you're ready, drop that back left, right knee. Coming back onto the heel on that left knee, on that left foot. Then go ahead and drop that left foot down, bring both hands down, untuck that back leg, step that right leg up, then slowly roll ourselves up, vertebrae by vertebrae till we reach the top, rolling those shoulders back, walking that out a little bit, breathing, gently rolling the shoulders back. Now we're going to sink low as if we're sitting in a chair. We're going to create some space in between our knees as we sink low. Then we're going to reach our arms up high. Breathing, engaging into our core, straight back. Then we're going to bring our hands into a prayer mudra and bringing it down to the chest. Breathing. Then we're going to turn our gaze sideways, bringing that left elbow to the outside of that right knee for a deeper twist. Then we're going to come ourselves back to center. Then go ahead and twist open on that left side, bringing that right elbow to the left knee, outside of the left knee. Then we're going to come back to center. And inhale, expand ourselves up, bringing our prayer mudra hands up above the head, reaching high, expanding that energy out, releasing the hands out. And then inhale, bringing that prayer mudra back into the heart space, into the center, and breathe. We're going to do that again. We'll release our hands down. We're gonna sink low again, like we're holding an imaginary ball in between our knees and reach high, creating a strong flat back, clenching into the stomach, holding, breathing. Tapping into our core here, tapping in the strength of our legs and our abs. Then we're gonna bring our hands into that prayer mudra, channel it down into that heart space. Breathing. And then we're going to go ahead and twist open, bringing that right el left elbow to that right knee. This time we're going to drop that left hand all the way down to that floor and then extend that right hand up for a deeper twist. Then we're going to come back to center with that prayer mudra hand and twist open on that right elbow to that left knee. Dropping that right hand to the mat, extending that left hand up.
then release and then coming back to center and that prayer mudra. Then we're gonna bring ourselves up, hinging up, bringing our hand, that prayer mudra all the way to the top. Exhale, bring it out, expanding that energy out and bring it back in into that heart space, bringing that prayer mudra in. Gonna take a deep breath and exhale into mountain pose. Breathe in here, allowing ourselves to be rooted in our energy, allowing ourselves to be rooted in our body. We're going to root ourselves even more with the tree pose. We're going to keep that right leg fully planted to the mat. Take our right, our, keep our right leg. We're going to go a little bit deeper into rooting our body into the mat. We're going to keep that right leg planted straight. Take this left leg, turn it perpendicular. Bring that left heel just above the ankle on that right side. Bringing our hands into that prayer mudra, into a small tree, breathing here. And if you want to go a little bit deeper, go ahead and bring that left leg just below or above the knee, whatever is most comfortable for you. And it's okay to sway a little bit. Just try to find something that's ahead of you that's not moving to focus your attention on. As you breathe in. And when you're ready, we'll release that down and get the opposite side, keeping that left leg rooted, turning that right leg perpendicular to the ankle, bringing a hand to that prayer mudra again. And again, if this is enough for you, stay here and breathe. And if you want to expand, go ahead and bring your right foot to either just above or below the knee. And when you're ready, we'll release that. Walk that out a little bit. Check that out a little bit. Then we're gonna wait, make our way to the floor. So we're gonna inhale up. Exhale, full forward diving down towards the floor. And allow our hands to come to the floor and release the back of our body to the mat. Here, we're gonna just rotate our ankles a little bit. Then we'll keep our feet straight. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, diving down towards the feet or the shin, wherever you're at. And just take a moment to allow yourself to rest onto yourself. With each breath, allow yourself to just rest and release even more. And when you're ready, we'll slowly walk our hands back and come on to the back of our body. We're going to hug our knees into our body. Gently rocking from side to side. Like giving our back a little massage from the mat, a little mat on the ground. Then we'll allow our knees to fold over onto the left side. Then we'll take our right hand and bring it up and across to twist open for a supine twist. I'm going to keep the knees bent. 
Allow the gaze to go the opposite direction of the knees. Breathe. We're bringing our energy down to allow yourself to release. Allow yourself to relax in this pose. Allow yourself to be present in the body. And let's bring our knees back to center. And drop it over onto that right side. Bring that left hand up and across. And again, watch the gaze as you go across, allowing the head to fall opposite direction of the knees, opening ourselves up. You can either have both arms straight out to each side, or you can have that right knee holding on to that left knee to keep it down because you don't want it to come up. Whatever's most comfortable for you, either both arms straight out or one holding on to the knee. Just allow yourself to be open here, surrendering. Now we'll bring our knees back to center, hugging them into ourselves. Then we'll straighten them out and go into Savasana, which is a conscious resting. Here we'll take a few minutes to let our body incorporate the energy that we just put in through our practice. This is a receiving mode and a releasing mode. So here we'll go deeper and allow our body to relax. Let go of the tongue. Let go of the hands. Let go of the toes. Let go of any sensations you feel in the body. Relax the back, relax the shoulders. Relax the thighs. When you're ready, begin to bring your awareness back into your breath, back into your body. Take a couple of deep breaths in. Exhale out. Wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Bring your sensation back into the body.
Then bring the knees to the chest. Hug it and rock it a little bit again. And when you're ready, release and bring yourself up into a comfortable seated position. And at this time, I bow to you. And thank you for clicking on this video and sharing your practice with me today. I hope this practice was able to give you the movement you was looking for when you clicked on this video. Until next time, namaste.